Uh, welcome back. We've got a big one. Um, I got some new baits in the mail, and I got two new rods um, that I added up to my lineup. And uh, I went out and fished them over the weekend, and I wanted to try them out before I even did an unboxing or anything to um, give a good review uh, of what I got and what I thought about the rods. Uh, I'll start out with the bait I got. Uh, so, landbigfish.com is, uh, I went on their sale page, and, or their sales items, and I bought a bunch of the Big Bite Baits uh, stick tail. Um, I got, I got some more, but this is just a couple of them. I think I got 10 packages. They're $1.80 a piece, so that was a really good deal. I think I bought the, all of them. I don't think they have any left on there. But uh, the colors I got were green pumpkin, blue flake, and watermelon, blue, orange flake. So these are pretty cool colors, but uh, these work really, 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 really well. I had them in some of my other videos that I bought some. But uh, also in that order, I bought some. They had these on sale too. The uh, Evolve uh, Baits. Uh, called the fluid worm so it's, it's about a four inch worm and it um, has a lot of action on the tail and it's uh, this is green pumpkin uh, or they call it gill oil so it's like a green pumpkin with uh, green glitter in it but uh, it looks like it'd be an awesome drop shot um, worm so um, I got three packs of that um, all different colors one was in gill oil, uh, June bug, and watermelon red flake. So that was all my land big fish um, items I bought on their website. Uh, next, I got some stuff from eBay that I had ordered. Um, let's open up and see what I got. packages up really well. Alright, so I saw a really good deal on clack and cranks. Um, this is a little the smallest model. It's a Rapala clack and crank. It's a, uh, it's a it's their square bill version and this is the Regal Shed. It's got like a purple with a um, purple with a uh, chartreuse like line down the middle of it. Uh, I've never tried these. I've always wanted to try them, but they're really, really expensive. And so I got five for twenty-two dollars. So that's a really, really good deal. These usually cost like thirteen bucks a piece. So uh, this one is in hot mustard. So it's like a chartreuse with a brown top. Like I said, I've never tried these. Um, pretty curious. I wish I bought the bigger ones, but they didn't have them on there. So uh, this is a bleeding olive shiner. Uh, next, I got the Rusty Crawdad. Looks like a good color for fall. And lastly, I got a silver blue. So it's got blue on the top and silver on the sides. Uh, next, let's see, what else did I do? So these were really, really good deals, and I couldn't really, I like to check on there every once in a while. Um, I got uh, five DT6s, the Rapala DT6s, uh, and this one was, uh, I think it, I believe it was $22 plus shipping. I mean $22 all together, including shipping. So this is uh, one of Mike Iaconelli's colors. This is Mardi Gras, it's a dark green. Looks like a really good uh, crankbait. Uh, next, I got a um, Caribbean Shad. It's almost like a parrot color. Uh, next, 
I got a uh, demon. So it's like a red crawdad pattern. Uh, and the last two, I got um, just regular shad. And I got an old school DT6. <clears throat> but that's all the stuff I got from eBay. So I got really good deals on that. And that's where I usually buy my crankbaits. And then lastly, I got my rods. Okay, so I was looking to buy a new, um, I wanted a spinnerbait rod, and I also wanted um, uh, one that threw smaller spinnerbaits and one that threw bigger. But I also wanted the bigger rod to throw um, some Texas rig and uh, even possibly like uh, flipping and pitching smaller baits. So to start out with, this is the, the bigger rod out of both of them. It's a, it's a uh, Omen uh, 13 fishing rod. It's a seven foot one medium heavy. This rod is unbelievable. I really couldn't believe how, how well it fished. It's uh, very sensitive and um, it's got a lot of backbone. So. Uh, it's a great rod. It has um, a cork handle up above and an EVA foam grip on the bottom. And uh, I can't really explain it, but the, um, I don't know what you call it, the handle grip. It feels a lot better in your hand than most rods. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they did differently, but it, it just feels different. I don't know if it's the groove that they have in there, but it just feels really, really, really good in your hands. And uh, I paired it up with my Shimano Crotto 287, and I uh, started out using uh, using top water on it to try it out, and it uh, it did pretty good. I didn't catch anything on top water, um, so I switched over to Texas rigged uh, um, finesse Magnum uh, Zoom Worm, and uh, I did really well on it. I uh, it loads up really well when you're setting a hook. Uh, I could feel the fish and the cover that was going through. And uh, I even got um, caught up in a tree. I had about a five or six pound fish on and it got wrapped up in a tree. And uh, I was really afraid the rod, I don't know, something could happen to the rod and it, 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 perform, it performed like uh, flawlessly. So uh, I never got the fish, unfortunately. I, I tried and tried to try and get it out, but I couldn't, so. Uh, but overall, this rod is pretty awesome. Uh, I saw the reviews on Tackle Warehouse. It uh, lists for $100, and um, I'm really, really satisfied with it. It's, everyone was saying how sensitive it was, and they were compared to their G Loomis. I, didn't, I wasn't really sure. I was like, G Loomis, really? A $100 rod compared to that? And uh, I really love it. So I'm uh, ecstatic about this rod. It's. Uh, Really cool design too. I like the carbon fiber that they have around it, um, and it has um, third. Uh, I don't know how you say it. It's a Japanese uh, graphite ton rod, so um, it's really really light too for for its size. I, I compared it to my ducket rod, and it's almost maybe even lighter than my ducket rod. Um, so it's right there. So I could fish this all day and have no problem uh, being tired or anything. So that was my first rod I got. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I suggest you guys go out there and try one. Um, next, this is my spinnerbait rod. I got a Falcon Buku. This is a six foot six uh, medium. So it's a smaller rod. I usually don't go under seven foot. But uh, it was saying, people were saying this is a really, really good spinnerbait rod. Um, so it was kind of weird at first getting used to the how short it was when I'm usually fishing seven foot and above. So uh, it casts very accurate. It uh, has a lot of sensitive uh, sensitivity, and the um, I mean Falcon is just a great company. It's made in the USA, so that's awesome. Uh, it's got EVA foam grips, really comfortable and really, really, really light, especially with the, I got a Carbon Light Bass Pro Shops reel on here, and uh, I could feel every turn of the blade when I cast it out and was reeling in, so 
and uh, when the fish would bite, um, I wouldn't have any problem with hookups or anything. I don't think I lost one fish on the spinnerbait, so. Um, I really like this rod too. I was kind of skeptical at first going this small and uh, it's only a medium, so you're not gonna wanna use a huge spinnerbait on this rod. But uh, overall, I'm really, really happy with it. I even tied on a uh, swim, small swim jig on it and uh, fished that in a while and caught some fish on it and really liked that too, so. Um, and it's better to fish out of a kayak with a smaller rod and get better casts. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really love it. The only problem is that I don't like, sometimes I like to cast with both, hand, both hands and the, it just feels like it's, because it's so short that it's kind of awkward. But other than that, I, I love it. Nice and light and sensitive. So uh, this is another really good brand to buy from. Uh, they make a micro guide version, but I actually just got the regular guides. And this sells for $100 too on Tack Warehouse. So uh, I suggest you guys go out there and try some of these rods. Uh, definitely the Owen 13. This is unbelievable for the price. I mean, I can't even believe how good it is. Um, I meant to get a video out in the water this weekend, but uh, when I got to the lake, totally forgot my SD card. So I had all my batteries and everything ready to go, and then when I got there, I didn't have my SD card. So I wasn't able to get any footage with the new rods and catching fish on them. So uh, luckily I have to go this weekend and go fishing. Uh, so I'll try to get some footage for you guys on there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some comments, uh, questions, and uh, I'll